So now I'm at Nana's Tea, which is Nana's Green Tea, which is one of my favorite chain stores for like matcha and other tea kind of items. I got a lunch set. Mama no matcha. I got a lunch set. So I got the Mama matcha. Sauce for it. Matcha latte and the dessert that my daughter's already devouring. Do, 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 Welcome to Kiki's channel. Do, do. Ding, ding. All right, hi guys. So I am with my daughter now at Nana's Green Tea. And it is one of my favorite like chain type uh, green tea matcha restaurants. We just did a, we shared a lunch special which was a sashimi don with avocado and then it just kind of looks gross now but like a green matcha jelly and i did a matcha latte as well and i wanted to just show you guys some of the stuff that i bought at daiso earlier a lot of the videos that i'm going to be putting up i don't think are sorry are going to come in chronological order because I think I explained it in another video, but I haven't even uploaded that one yet. But you know how I get like um, seasonal affective disorder or I have a seasonal affective disorder and a little bit of like a bipolar. There are times like long periods of time where I don't feel like uploading or I just, uh, or because of my other Stanlow syndrome, I'm just too tired physically to, or in too much pain to upload and so for those reasons i feel like once i have the energy to upload i want to just like kind of like just get it out because i don't know when my body's gonna not be able to um or my mood might not be there it's hard to explain maybe some of you guys get it but anyway i digress i'm gonna share with you guys some of the stuff i got at Daiso. first off this clear pouch with daisy on it it didn't have, have an extra price tag on it so i'm gonna assume this is 100 yen plus tax so 110 Food items are 108, 100 plus 8 cents tax. Then I bought this, which is, I've been looking everywhere. Like you would think it's not that hard to find, but I wanted one that's like super compact, like I put in a purse too. Like a lint roller. I think I bought two of them. I bought this version too, which is even smaller, but you can kind of change the shape. So if you compare the two, size wise there is a difference in size but i wanted to try to see which one is better and if i like it i wanted to grab a couple um and use them because you can never have too many of these in my opinion i also bought this jewelry case which is like just like the typical kind of um, microfiber material and then i just wanted to hold some of the jewelry that i brought here like when I take it off to shower and stuff. And then if it's good, I might buy a couple more just to keep in my jewelry box. Bought some masks. So these were really good price, 100 yen for 15. I got them in pink. I don't really, didn't really want it in like a super bright pink, but they didn't have like a beige color. So I just got that. I bought this ribbon for my daughter. I can also use it because it's quite cute. I might grab another one for myself. So one of these. And then this one I might use for myself. It's quite cute. It's a little clip. Again, I really like the ones with, I don't know what the name of this claw is, but it's like kind of like a lobster pinchy claw. These ones are like my favorite type for her hair just because it's easy, really easy to stick in and it doesn't really hurt her hair and it's easy to take out as well. And because she has super fine hair, the ones that are like little claspy bits, I don't know if I'm explaining it right. Those ones, they, she just doesn't have enough hair. It's too thin. Oh, next I also got this, which is really useful. It is a card mirror. So in Asia and a lot of countries with metro passes, people use a lot of card cases, right? For, for the metro. And this is a mirror that's shaped like a card and you can put it in the same case. So I also got this dry makeup brush cleaner. I'm gonna try it out and see if it's any good because I have the wet version from Daiso, like the cult favorite. 
Um, and this one is, I thought would be good because then I don't have to actually wet the brush. I can get the glitter and all that stuff off of it and change colors without having to keep the brush wet, which means I have to dry it and wait and da da da. So grab this. I also grabbed this eyeshadow brush. This says that it's for like the Namida Bukuro, which is like the, I don't, like the tear, tear pocket kind of thing, tear under here that people like to draw here. <laughs> Not explaining this well, but anyway, that's what I bought this brush for. It's also a really detailed, like small brush, so I thought I could use it for other stuff too. Um, and I brought, uh, no, not brought, I bought this, which is a concealer brush. So I bought this Korean brand, Dasik, Dasik, Dasik. And it has um, this, I think it's like a nine color set of concealer. I don't have a concealer brush. I just use my finger. So I wanted to try with a concealer brush and see if that changes things. Um, then I also got these twist crayons for my daughter to use. They are as written twist crayons and a Disney kind of coloring book with actual like, like it's kind of like there's just a story-ish to it as well. Oh, I think it's just like more like explaining each page um, or like character type thing. So I got that for her to do and then she loves these. Last time my nanny was in Japan, she bought my daughter some. So I got her two of these. I think she already owns this one. These are like a sticker playbook. So there are stickers in them like this. And then you can move it into it's kind of like and play around with it. I loved these when I was a kid. So the fact that they're like a dollar here, I might grab a whole bunch later for her, as well as for like omiyage for friends back home. Here's the princess one, super cute. I'm gonna let her grab that. Princess, princess. So, well, straight to use. So, na shiru da ne. And then I bought this for her for when I had to label stuff because I'm still like on the fence. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put her into this kind of drop-in daycare, but if I do, I have to label her clothes and all her items. So I thought I would grab it now anyway. I need to go to um, Seria and like Itori and stuff to get some other basics, but I thought for the price, I don't think I'm gonna get any cheaper than this. So I grabbed one of these. And what I like about it is that there's actually a little clear plastic that you can cover over it. So yeah, I'm gonna test it out, see how it's like. If it's good, I'll grab some more. And, oh, last item is this brush, which was the main purpose, believe it or not, of me going to Daiso and then ended up with all this other stuff. But even then, it only ended up being 1,800, 1,900. It's for this liner brush. And if you go to Loft or like Plaza or other kinds of um, like, uh, Matsumoto Kiyoshi, that kind of store, it would probably be a lot more expensive. I just wanted to see if I liked using it. A liner brush, so I could use, before I do the liquid liner, I wanted to use this to add the powder as a powder eyeshadow liner. That's what the Korean makeup artist that I've been looking, watching, um, Won Jun Young, I can't pronounce her name, guys, sorry. <laughs> She's been saying it's a good way to do it, so. And yeah, so that's what I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button too. Alright, so that's all for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to be notified whenever I upload new videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Janet. Ding ding. Thanks for watching. Come again. Bye-bye.